Hey everybody, this is Frilliff and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Uh, right, we're back on the Just Vanilla server uh, and I've, uh, I've just logged on to be greeted by this, which is a little gift, uh, which is fantastic. Um, uh, Treacle 3 has left me a little present and <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. That's uh, I'm going to look forward to, to spending that and using that. That is absolutely brilliant. That is brilliant. Thank you, Treacle Three. I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, and we've uh, I've just come on, as I say, and Corin has asked me to go and have a look at something uh, at his base, at her base. I will figure out one day soon whether they these are he's or she's. But uh, sorry, Corin. I'll I said I'd have a wander over and have a look at something for them. Uh, so I'll go and find. Uh, Corin's base, which is in the South Tunnel 244. South Tunnel 244. So we'll have a wander over there uh, and see what uh, what the problem is for Corin. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you when I get over there. Right, I'm at Corin's base, or Corin's uh, nether portal, nether portal tunnel, anyway, uh, which is 244 on the South Tunnel. So we'll have a wander down here and see what we shall see. You forced MTSM Corrin. Here I come, Corrin. Right, well, I don't know if it's raining again and it's dark. Brilliant. I'll see if I can find. Oh. <laughs> Corrin, what, what are you like? I've come all the way down here and you've gone. So we're never going to know. We're never going to know what Corin wanted me for. Um, let's have a quick shifty round around the base anyway. And Rudolph, uh, Rudolph's left as well. Corin, came here especially for you, dude. Where are you? So we don't know Ooh, what it is. I'll have a quick shifty round. It might. Oh, I've got zombies and everything coming at us now. Whoa, and husks. Cool. Just what we need. I, I was assuming, if I'm being honest, I was assuming it was something to do with villages because of what I did the last time to help somebody out. But maybe, uh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was something else that we'll never know about now because Corrin's decided to chip off. Never mind. Could it be anything to do with that? Mm, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe your table's not working properly. Oh no, it is. Table's working fine. I don't know then, Corin. I can't help you because you're not here. Um, I'll pop back later and see. Right, I'll go back to the base. <laughs> These the boots on. I'll go back to the base and uh, grab those uh, grab those diamonds, and we'll go shopping. Let's let's go and do a bit of shopping. Everybody loves shopping, so I'll see you back at the base in a minute. Hey guys, right, I'm back. I, I'm, I'm at the mall. I've, I've reached spawn. And uh, spawn is... Spawn is there, that's spawn, over there. Uh, so I've come out here and I've come to the... I think it, this is called the mall, uh, maybe. Uh, the Grand Exchange, even. So I've reached the Grand Exchange, uh, which seems to be full of little stalls, which is a really, really neat idea. Um, so I need to have a look around to see if anybody's selling... One or two of the books that I need. Mm, looks like there's a couple of shops in here. I tell you what, if you've got a stall in here and you don't restock it, Rainy Rose is going to be on your case. Yeah, no doubt. Right, so this is uh, this is an Ender Book shop, is it? No, it's not. 
Ender book. What's an Ender book shop? Anyway, they can. Maybe I'll get myself a, a shop here eventually one day. Back in business. True, true, true. Is that you, true? Maybe, maybe not. No books there. Books, bow, enchanted stuff. No. I need some enchanted books. Where are they all? So can I roll picks? What am I after actually? I want I want mending and I want depth strider. All enchants are only one diamond. We have quality books at even cheaper prices. Uh, okay, so what have you got? Cursor binding. Is somebody actually going to buy a cursor binding book? Rain of arthropods. These are one diamond, are they? Frost walker. Depth Strider 3! Depth Strider 3. I'm hoping that I won't get Curse of Binding if I put my Depth Strider on. Will I get a Curse of Binding? Will I get a Curse of Binding? That's all I don't know now. I want Depth Strider and I want Depth Strider for one, for one diamond. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Depth Strider, one diamond. What do you reckon? Let's have it. Let's have. Let's have. Let's have. Okay, this is going to. I know this is going to cause me a problem. Depth Strider and Curse of Vanishing. Okay, we don't even Curse of Binding, Curse of Vanishing. I don't want to be invisible. Ah, now I'm putting it back. Putting it back for the time being because I'm not 100% sure that if I put the depth strider enchant on my boots that I'll get the curse of vanishing as well. Oh, books, 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 books. Let's have a look how many of these. Three equals one diamond, two equals one diamond, three diamonds, two diamonds, one diamond. So I probably want this one up here, don't I? So what have we got up here then? It's a mending and curse of vanishing. What is it about that? Infinity, I've got that I think already. Infinity, do I want infinity on my bow? I do want infinity on my bow. I'll have one of them because I want infinity on my bow. Three diamonds. Thank you for that. Depth strider. I want depth strider. So I'll have that one. Three diamonds there. So depth strider and infinity. Could do with feather falling as well. Knockback. Nobody buys knockback. Don't put knockback to as a, a three diamond enchant, it's not. Not worth it. Depth Strider, I've already got a Depth Strider, haven't I? See, Depth Strider, he's got a few Depth Strider threes now. Wish I'd had them before, I've got Infinity. Okay, so what are in the Two diamond section. Can't have a feather falling in there. Accidentally put a feather falling in there by mistake. Didn't notice. Sorry. Whoops, add it away. Made the mistake of trying to I got myself a <laughs> on my last server. I got um, Depth Strider boots on and I thought, I know, wouldn't it be great if I could have Frost Walker on there as well? So I went and got myself a Frost Walker book. Cost a lot of money, uh, only to find that you can't put them on the same thing, which is... Which is a problem. Let's see, nothing there that fancy. These are the one diamond books. Yeah, nothing in there. So what I wanted silk, I wanted do I want I do want it. Or do I want my respiration three as well? 
or respiration three three diamonds I'll just make sure I don't have respiration three already now I've got infinity but not respiration three cool I wanted something for my sword actually I want mending nobody's got mending which is why I need villagers villagers and bad efficiency I've got efficiency five on my pick don't need flame don't need that I think that'll do so thank you to uh, whoever shop this is IVXs IVXs Somebody else I've not met yet. Have we been in this one? Oh, yeah, we've been in this one. Right, so I'm going to have another shifty around. Is it upstairs? No. I'm going to have a shifty outside, see if I can find another shop. Well, it's nine o'clock again. It's always nine o'clock when you come here. That clock must have, must be broken. Anyway, I found my way over to, uh, to Neon's Books, Bows, Bits and Bobs store. So we'll have a look in here, see if, uh, see if there's anything in here we want. Three diamond books. Sharpness four, maybe. Sharpness, sharpness four, do I want to? I, I could do with a sharpness. Can you get sharpness five? Sharpness four, power four. Four diamond books, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch. That's the one I want, isn't it? Silk touch and looting. There's one. I want looting. Four diamonds. Have I got feather falling on my boots? Did I say I've already got feather falling? I don't, and I don't. So I wanted feather falling. I've only got. Oh, I've got eight diamonds left. So if I grab myself. Feather falling. Feather falling for four. And a silk touch for four. That's me done. That's me shopped out. Brilliant. Well, I've. Uh, I tell you what, it's, I keep saying that. I tell you what, I tell you what. Hello. Um, this place is brilliant. So I'll head off back over to spawn. For some reason, my FPS has taken a hell of a beating at the moment. I'm not quite sure what was going on, um, but it went down to went down to 12. So apologies if, I, if I'm jumping about all over the place. But anyway, um, I'll head back to I'll head back to spawn. Must be something going on over there. When I look over there, it goes all the way back up to 60. Look over there at spawn, down to 18 which is not great. Anyway, I'm going to go back and start putting some of these enchantments on my gear. So I'll see you back at the base. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, back in the base. I've got my bits and uh, let's see if we can lob some enchants on these bad boys then. So get my boots off. I always take my boots off when I get home. Uh, so I want Depth Strider. Depth Strider. Fabulous. And I wanted Feather Falling. Feather Falling. Nice boots, Chief. Nice boots. Right, what else have I got now? Respiration for my helmet. I think I might run out of levels, actually. Respiration for my helmet. Fabulous. What else? Looting for my sword. Uh, infinity for my bow. And silk touch for a pick that I don't have yet. So that I don't have to do that one yet. So... Let's do looting on my sword. I know it's beaten up. I will repair it. Maybe I shouldn't. I was going to say maybe I should repair it before I put an enchant on it. But if I, I can't because I don't have any. I don't have any. Oh, I can't do it. I don't have any diamonds anyway. So I could quite easily break that before I get round to doing it. So I've got some decent boots and I've got a decent helmet. And can I put the... Can I put that on there? Infinity, I can't put infinity on the bow. 
I bought the bow, it was a decent bow, uh, but it's obviously got too many enchants on there already. I can't put infinity on the bow, which is a problem because I don't have a skelly spawner yet. And I always, there's one knocking about, there's a, a skelly spawner and a zombie spawner knocking about somewhere because I've been past them. I know they're, they're over, I don't know where they are, they're over there somewhere, maybe, maybe not. Right, course of action. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to have a think about what we can do. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in an hour in now about completing the nether tunnel. Uh, to get the, the tunnel to the main south tunnel because I am spending a lot of time going backwards and forwards now to spawn. I've had a bit, a bit of trouble in spawn actually. I'm not sure whether it's been griefed or whether we've had a creeper in there but some of the glass is missing by the shop's exit. I noticed it on my way back through again um, but I wasn't recording so I, I, I didn't see anything. Um, so I'm hoping that's, uh, that's nobody grief and that wouldn't be very nice. So do I do I complete the, the the tunnel or do I start on my base? Do I grab an apple and go outside to see if it's dark? Grab an apple and some splash potions, maybe. We'll do that just to see what's happening. I've left a little sign up for Tree Call Three, thanking for my my welcome gift, which was really really nice of him, her, of them. So, uh, yeah, thank you again. I probably won't stop thanking you now for a few episodes, but it was really, really nice of you. So we're just going to have a quick shifty out here now, just to see, not holding my breath because it's daylight anyway. There's no real way of enticing zombie villagers either, is there? There isn't. I know there isn't. Right, I think I am going to make the nether tunnel out of out of spruce and stone. Stone brick. Me and stone brick have got an affinity. We, we love each other. We love each other. So I'm going to grab myself loads of spruce. Or is it spruce? It is spruce, isn't it? It's not dark oak. It is spruce. I'm going to grab myself some spruce, uh, which is probably going to consist of me grabbing all of it and then waiting for the leaves to fall and then grab and doing a bit of replanting. So I'll do that. And then when I've grabbed myself some resources, uh, I shall meet you back in the, uh, in the nether, probably. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's got dark outside and I'm a wuss when it gets dark, so I've just popped in to get rid of a few bits and pieces, a few bits of wood. Uh, and I think I'm going to spend another night outside trying to get myself a villager. Because uh, we need one, we need a villager, we need him bad. So let's see if we can find one. Have I got my apple? I've got my apple, I've got my splash potion of weakness, I've got everything I need. The only thing I don't have is a villager. So let's go and have a shifty, shall we? I'm a big fan of having a shifty. It's getting light though. It's getting light. Oh well. Back to the old drawing board. And I'll wait until tonight. But while I'm waiting, I'll go and chop down some more trees. Right, well, you may have noticed that I'm on natural again. Uh, I've been outside now for the past five nights and I haven't seen a single zombie villager. Um, so I'm. <laughs> uh, I got bored with that. So I decided to, uh, to go up to the roof of the nether. And, uh, and see if I can find a way through. To, uh, one of my projects, uh, as always, is to get a decent gold farm. And by all accounts, they don't have one on here. They've got a tree farm above the nether by spawn, uh, but not a gold farm. So 
I've asked permission, I've been given permission, I, I, it's acceptable to go through the roof of the nether. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got rid of all my stuff, uh, pressing the wrong buttons, I've got rid of everything apart from what I'm going to need to try and get through the roof of the nether. I've got through, I've got rid of my, uh, my armour. If you die, you die on this server, if you die, you die, you drop everything. I don't know whether it'll um, go up to the roof of the nether or, nether or whether it'll be just underneath, I don't know, but I, I, I'm probably going to lose it. So I've taken it all off. Uh, I've also got rid of everything that I don't want to lose. So all I've got left now is a bit of food. Got, you can't go anywhere without food. Uh, a cheap, skanky old diamond pick, just in case I misplace my obsidian. I've got some rails and I've got some minecarts to get into position. I've got a ladder um, to get up through the roof of the nether. Uh, and I've got myself a, uh, a flint and steel for when I get there. So if you don't know how to do this, and I'm, there's no guarantee that this is actually going to work. You need to find a specific space in the roof of the nether, uh, which is why I've dug all of this out. Uh, and I've found the place I want is, is that one there uh, so it's that particular block there I need to get up you need to be looking at Y127 but Y127 is the roof is the very top block in the nether and if you look at uh, the top left hand corner of the screen with all the uh, all the gubbins on it uh, there's a, a line on there that's close to the bottom that says looking at uh, you want looking at the Y coordinate 127 if you look at this one you're looking at 125. Look at that one, you're looking at 126. That one, or those two uh, in particular, are Y127, and it's the two together that make this spot particularly sexy. So, what I need to do now is I need to, um, I need to get up to there. So if we log a block down there, um, I also need to be able to get out again if this all goes pear-shaped. Uh, so I'm going to want to put a minecart rail there and a, a minecart on there. And that way, he says this, I'm winging this, I'm winging this, so that it might, it may, ne it might not work. It may work, it may not work. Uh, so I'm going to be sitting in a rail, in a minecart here. Uh, I should be able to see that. If I can't, then I'm going to die. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to be able to get out. And there's no way of trying this. Uh, so, but I need to be able to get down to there. So we're going to need, fill those blocks in. We, we need a, uh, we need that there. I'm going to keep saying we need that there, we need that there, we need that there. We need to break that. We need a block there. So now I need to put a minecart on here. I don't, if I can't see that minecart, there I am kajiggered. If this doesn't work, I'm kajiggered. Uh, we need to put a ladder there. Now that's the key. The ladder's the key. I'm going to put a minecart on the rail here and then I'm going to get into the minecart and then I'm going to get out of the minecart, press up and jump and in theory I should go through the roof, I should glitch through the roof of the nether. But as I say, this is all theory. Grab myself some food. Wish me luck. I'm in the minecart, pressing forward. I'm out the minecart. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, and it's only gone and worked. And I took no damage. Fantastic. So now I'm on the roof of the nether. I'm on top of the world, Ma. Uh, so now I need to make myself a nether portal, uh, which is as close to my portal. And I didn't take the. <laughs> didn't take the uh, coordinates which is absolutely fantastic of me also I don't believe ghasts, ghasts and things can spawn on bedrock but they can spawn on obsidian so I'm gonna have to put some slabs above it. now I know this works I can put some slabs above the nether portal uh, and uh, and get myself a proper little base up here but I just need to get myself back now so I need to create another portal. 
create a cheaty one. Save myself an obsidian. Can't be cheaty nether portals. That's my cheaty nether portal. Also, this nether, I, I can't come through my nether portal onto the roof of the nether. That's just not possible uh, because of the Y coordinate. So now, this should take me back through my portal. everybody this is brilliant right, I'm gonna give it one more go actually I'm gonna take some slabs take a few slabs up there and I can slab the the area up there put a torch up I got any torches put a couple of torches up there as well of course I don't have any torches I've got a stick though don't go anywhere without a stick you used to do that as a kid Walk around with a stick, whacking things. My parents used to hate me for that. Right, so we're back through this again. This brings me to my portal, which we knew about. It's up on stairs. I can just about see that, which is brilliant. Hop in it. Push forward. Get out. Jump up, and I'm on the roof of the nether. And everybody's happy. I'm happy. Let's get some slabs on here then, so nothing can spawn on here. And my cheap pick out. So, one of our projects in the near future is to make a gold farm. Which, uh, which I'll do. I've stopped planning it now, actually. Um, which can't be a bad thing, can it? Anyway, I think we will end the episode on a positive note for once. So, uh, there you go. I'm, we've managed to make it onto the roof of the nether. Next project, Gold Farm. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been brilliant as usual having you along. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave it a like. Uh, and if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off on top of the world, and I'm out of here.